This is Eunice and I'm here today to show you my little workstation that I got. This is actually my screen room that I use for workstation. It's so relaxing out here. I usually just come out here and sit and enjoy because this is where I can think, be private and concentrate. It's my screen room. Um, which I, like I said, enjoy sitting out here. I got the nice breeze. I got the sunlight uh, in this area and so forth. And uh, this is just a joy. This is just one part of my house that I actually use uh, for work purposes. And because I do two uh, different things, I have another uh, area that I use um, for that. I do custom wigs, so I use my spare bedroom uh, to do my custom wig because you can't like come out here and do the wig because of the hair and this uh, hair, hair is hard to get out of this carpet here so I don't do my wigs here. I tried it before and it was not pleasant. So I'm going to go through some of these tools and so forth with you and show you exactly what a jeweler uh, actually gets into. These here are different type of uh, tweezers and so forth. Um, and they also for like um, picking up small um, beads and things like that. And uh, then you have uh, these tweezers here, which is a flat head tweezers where you can still pick up stuff. And they're kind of like stuck in together here. So let me see if I can get this out of the way. So I can show you each individual. Um, again, this is the flat one where you can just, um, you know, pick up stuff like that. And uh, I, I especially love this tweezers here because you can hold, um, you know, things more tighter and more, more tighter. And then you got the last small tool here where you can pick up these things like that. Yeah. So these are my little small tweezers that I use to pick up when I'm working with small bees. Uh, this right here is a ring holder. I like this one really well because you can put the ring on there and it just hold it up and work on it. This right here is my big bench pin um, here. And uh, this right here is uh, one of the um, wire covers, the flat. You know, you got two sides. Uh, one is the flat side, which is this side I use most of the time. Uh, this tool here is the flat tool and I love that holding the wires with it. Um, and also, too, this is uh, my um, wire cutter. I like that. This is one of my favorite tools. And this is the long, um, long nose uh, tool here, the round long nose tool. And I've got like two of these for some reason. Um, but um, anyway, I still do use them. Now, this here is um, very, very handy. And it's got little tools inside here as well. You remove this one here. And then you take and go inside and get the other tool. And here is another little small one I use to drill holes. And of course, this right here is what I use to pick up the uh, when I'm st um, stone setting. And it's right here. Okay. And here's another tool that I actually use uh, is for jump rings. And you'll see that the little groove thing right here on this part here and everything you'll see that and I use that for different size um, rings and uh, here's my file that I use to do some of the smoothing down on the wires and here's another one that I use this one is oh, I haven't used this in a while and everything as you can tell and all that and under here I have my drill, like the drill and so forth. And these are some of the bits and things that go to that. And here I have some tools and so forth in here. Um, and everything. I keep small tools and stuff in there as well. And here um, is my bead organizer and so forth. But I actually do keep tools and stuff in here as well. All these tools up top is going to go back into this here. Uh, these are some of the wires that I use and so forth for beading. I'm still missing some tools. So this is just not all the tools I have. And I'm still missing some tools. Um, like my um, electric solder. I'm missing that. 
I'm missing my jewelry file right now. Uh, that stuff is at my daughter's house, which she's going to be sending to me uh, shortly. And uh, I only use that kind of stuff when I'm actually making rings. And so far, I've just been doing beading, beaded jewelry. Uh, and here is another organi organizer here is where I keep a lot of the bees and stuff in. Uh, these are my bees and so forth. And this is here is uh, another one of the bees uh, containers that I use. And uh, I keep all this stuff out here. Uh, so when I get ready to do uh, my jewelry and stuff, I just come out here and sit. Mm, that's not clothes good but anyway I come out here and sit and do the jewelry and things like that um because it's very very relaxing and it's normally quiet out here and you just have this little breeze and so forth like I said you have the um sun so forth so it helps you with your vision seeing things uh, this little thing here I actually use for my needles and so forth and this glass um to container here um i don't know why i got that there but i feel like i'm going to use it for something so i just leave it there <laughs> i feel like i'm going to use it for some maybe to store this ring uh thing in here so maybe that's what i can use it for <laughs> yeah so anyway um let's see if that'll work okay there i done found something to use it with i put my ring uh holder in there i got this little container here for the little small jewelry uh tools and so far uh, tweezers and everything so i want everything so i can get my hands on it and so far when i get ready to start doing my jewelry stuff and i didn't show you uh it's all torn up now i need to get another one uh this right here is my uh beaded template and so far it tells you uh, what length and size, even though I still go back and measure. But when I'm d designing beads and so forth, I use this. I'll go ahead and lay everything out and everything. And uh, look at the design before I put it together, before I go and wire it together and so forth. I use that. These magazines here and so forth are just magazines that I look at sometimes when I'm just sitting out here. Uh, just thinking about creating something and everything so i'm gonna go ahead and stick these tools back into this um organizer here is where i keep them at i'm gonna go ahead and stick them back in here also these are other little tools that i didn't show you uh these are for like cutting clay um because i do make my own clay beads and so forth at times and you have one straight and then you have one that's a ripple that's got a ripple on it now those beads and so far um are kato clay this is just some of the wiring that i use uh, craft wiring i don't use that often uh, but i do use it a little bit and like i said these are the wiring that i actually use for my beading these are what you call stringing wires and so far and i have right now just some um uh, gold wire and I do have some uh, silver wire. You'll see the gold wire then you'll see the silver wire. So those are the actual wires that I'm actually using now for uh, the beads and so far. And I'm going to go ahead and sit these tools in here. And I, I use this too for like, you know, when I'm trying to do something to keep from sticking my finger. <laughs> so I take advantage of very little thing that I can get my hands on. This is some wire here in his packet here uh, that I will be using when I get my saw uh, to do the design and so far. But right now I'm not using it and everything. And I'm, you know, putting this stuff up. The only thing I'm going to leave out is uh, this pen thing here. I'm going to leave these wire things in here just like that. Because that's where they're going to store it. I'm going to actually leave that ring thing right there too. And that black thing sitting there. Uh, which I stick these needles in. Or head pins in. When I need to uh, get them. And all that. So. Um, yeah. So like, like I said right now. I'm just doing a lot of beaded jewelry. And uh, this is my setup. For all of that stuff 
and everything. So I'm like really waiting to get excited about that and to start using my jewelry soil again. I'm ready to start using that. I'm ready to go back and start doing some rings and all that. So I got everything sitting out here and this is very a comfortable position, believe it or not. Uh, for working on the bench. This is actually not a bench in so far like the real jewelry benches that normally people have But it's good enough for me because I get the air and I'm here private and so forth and just relaxing and so forth So it's just a relaxing space. Okay, so I've shown you my workstation showing you all Well, not all the tools, but most of the tools that I'll be working with and I hope you enjoy seeing all these tools and I hope you enjoy more so when I send out all, when I put out all these jewelry pieces and so forth, uh, I hope you enjoy those as well even more. <laughs> Thank you. This is Eunice.